In Horse Isle II, Legend of the Esros, the library is a very useful reference. It can be used to view horse breeds, tack, and companions. Let's take a look. The libraries in HI2 are large red buildings with a little book sign on the top of the porch. You can find a library in all main towns with competition arenas, except for Leafton. Let's go inside and investigate. You may remember the beginner bird talking about BBB, the Big Book of Breeds. Here it is on the pedestal. The BBB can tell us about horse breeds, tack, and companions. Let's take a look at the breeds first. There are a number of horse breeds in this game, with new ones being added intermittently. The Shetland ponies are among my favorites, so let's take a look at them. On the breed page, you can see basic information about this horse breed. You can also click Detailed Information to find out more, including the average genetic stats of that breed and the terrain in which it can be found. You can see that the Shetland ponies can only be found on the Decay Isles. Next, we'll look at some of the colors of Shetlands in HI2. You'll notice that next to each color name is a percentage. That's the odds of that color occurring within the game. For instance, if I were on the Decay Isles and I saw a Shetland, it would have an 11.2% chance of being bay. That's the most common color of Shetland. The most uncommon color of Shetland, as we can see when we go back to the main breed page, is pearl at 0.9%. While we're looking at this adorable pony, let's also explore some of the markings. You can hit Reload on any color page to see the same color, but with different markings. If you want to navigate to different colors without going back, you can hit Previous to view the color listed previously in the BBB, or Next to view the color listed after it. Once you've tired of looking at Shetland ponies, you can hit Back to List of All Breeds to look at more. While we're here, let's also look at tack for our horse. We can view tack pieces individually or in sets. Let's look individually first. The BBB lists all color variations of all tack items in the game, including crafted items. For instance, on the saddle pad page, we can see a number of differently colored saddle pads. Clicking View on any of them will take us to its page where we can find out approximately how much it costs and how it will help our horse in competition. Going back, we can also look at saddles, headgear including bridles and halters, and a variety of fun items that are not necessary for competition but in which we can dress our horses anyway. Examples include blankets, for when our horse is not tacked with a saddle, boots and polo bandages, hats, including hats and decorations for the forelock, and main decorations like ribbon bows and flowers. To see how all the tack items look grouped together, simply go to View Tack Sets. Tack here is grouped into star levels, representing how much the tack will boost your horse's stats in competition. These range from one star items, basic tack, view all the way up the entire to the five set star as well as its value. Looks like we're going to have to save up a lot of money for this tack set. While we're here, let's check out the companions too. In HI2, we can have up to three companions on a single horse, and there's a wide variety to choose from. You'll notice that some companions, like this piglet, are positioned in front of the horse. Others are positioned on the rump, like this pigeon, and some are behind, like the peacock. Other companions include foals, cats, dogs, and many more.